Yeah, and there's only 10 bucks too. Really nice guys in there. So I have, uh, it might help if I put a kickstand up. I'm gonna leave the helmet open for a few minutes because it is hot. Uh, Anyway, I just put in Oklahoma City for him, the GPS. So once I get up on 40, I know where I'm at. I may not know how to get back here from there. But there was no Welcome to Oklahoma sign other than the Choctaw Nation sign that I got, which I like. But to get me a Welcome to Arkansas sign picture, I had to go out of Arkansas to get it. Might as well give me a welcome to Oklahoma picture too. I think the speed limit is 35 still. Seemed like a pretty nice dealership. Nice group of guys in there. be the quickest route <laughs> going back into 40 anyway the big news so uh, we got here I got here uh, late Monday night well after dark I mean it was like 11 or 12 o'clock local time central time p.m. and uh, couldn't get GPS on the phone to work I knew I was getting pretty close I knew I had to be within 30 minutes but it had rained so much since I was in the rain for seven, eight hours on and off that the directions that I had written down, and, oh, I don't have my tank bag with me, and had uh, put in that clear parking on the tank bag, even with the, you know, your waterproof gear is really on a water resistant. So it had gotten wet and the ink had washed away and couldn't get a hold of them on the phone. You know, she had sent me a new phone number, my daughter, and the phone number had been disconnected sorry i got distracted phone number had been disconnected so i really had no way to get hold of her because i had no internet service so i couldn't connect to gps through the phone and only remembered part of her address so you know talking to the wife on the phone luckily i had cell service talking to the wife on the phone she got a hold of her and, and they sent me a, a better phone number they forgot they had, had it changed as this phone they didn't use much it actually has a plan on it And uh, just got the address for the gas station I was stopped at. And they came down and I followed them home. So we hadn't been back to their home maybe 10, 15 minutes. You know, was just settling in. We got everything, well, probably longer than that. I had to get everything off the bike. And uh, Clayton pulled me aside and he said, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. I kind of had a suspicion, yeah, it's beautiful, kind of had a suspicion of, uh, of what he was wanting to talk about, but man, I love this kid, I really do. Oh, crap, welcome to Oklahoma. There's my son, I don't even have to go. Sweet.
Oh, that was convenient. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, I guess I'll get back to that story in just a minute. Get my picture here. So back to the story. So he pulled me off the side and uh, he was telling me how much she means to him, which I already knew. Uh, and uh, I mean, they, they've been together for a couple years now and he's obviously in love with her and devoted to her. And she obviously loves him and is devoted to him. And he pulled me off to the side and he, he was really polite and respectful. I almost shed a tear, man. I, I didn't want him to see it, because, but I knew what he was saying, what he was going to say. Let's go ahead and get this set back up. I'm sorry. Squirrel. And, uh... You know, he had, he had worked out this perfect little speech that he wanted to ask for my permission, my formal permission to marry my oldest child. I told him it would be an honor to add him as a son. And it is. I mean, he's like a son anyway. I just hate that they live so far away or... You know, we live so far away from them and vice versa. So, congratulations. You have made this guy really happy. You two have. And uh, Skylar Wren, you have made your mama very happy and very proud of you as well. Okay, now we need some grandbabies, so get to work. <laughs> Hey, and there's my welcome to Arkansas sign. Look at there. I don't know if I can get off the road safely to get to it, but we'll find out in just a second. Yeah, boy. The natural state. Sorry, this video is going to turn in to be longer than I was expecting. <laughs> that was sure convenient. <laughs> Slippery. Let's get this plugged into some power too. She's using a GPS range to juice fast. Very, very happy about it. just too convenient the signs are right here no traffic to have to wait for oh that breeze feels good Anyway, today while they're asleep, Arkansas state line. While they're asleep, uh, 
There's a few places I want to go out and explore a little. I don't guess I'm going to fool with changing the oil here. I'll just do it when I get home. Population 86209. Fort Smith welcomes you. Well, so far I have felt welcome. I mean, everybody I've talked to, what time I've been here, been really nice. Had a shocking experience in Louisiana. Pretty sure it's not the entire state since everybody else I met was nice. Uh, was treated badly by the manager in a Walmart, or not a Walmart, it's a uh, McDonald's. Walked in there, I had been riding since Mississippi, you know, so maybe 70, 80 miles, if that. I can't remember how many it was, it wasn't real far. And uh, stopped at the first McDonald's I came to and they were closed. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video. Went down to the next one. And, uh, you know, stood there and waited my turn in line. And the lady manager literally looked me in the eyes, looked me up and down, and then just walked off. She flat would not wait on me. I mean, I stood there seven, eight minutes by my stopwatch waiting on somebody to wait on me. And finally, this uh, a really nice teenage girl, I mean, very professional, very uh, friendly, happy. Oh, man, I got to turn left. <laughs> uh, she comes up and waits on me. And, uh, you know, I get hot cakes and sausage. And since I was being kind of treated badly by the manager for whatever reason, I know why now, but I didn't know why then. Uh, I watched them make my food, because you never know, you don't want to eat somebody's spit. Tennessee people, I didn't know any better. Uh, appreciate you. So anyway, she finally brings me my, uh, my see my food come up, and uh, the manager puts it in a to-go bag. Doesn't make any eye contact, any, any acknowledgement that I was standing there or anything. She puts it in a to-go bag, and she just tosses it up onto the counter and walks off. And I'm saying, ma'am, miss. That's for here, it's dying in. Just completely ignored me. And the little young lady was uh, trying to explain to her, that's a dying in, that's a dying in. I overheard the manager say, we don't need no racist white biker people up in here eating. <laughs> you know, I was completely shocked. Uh, so apparently racism is alive and well and that will, that part of Louisiana and the McDonald's anyway. No, obviously it ain't the whole state. Uh, uh, the young lady was apologized to me. Uh, you know, I, I was a little shocked, yeah, but I actually found it amusing because, you know, I'm obviously not a racist. <laughs> but, uh, anywho, it was an experience to add to my experience list. I did, uh, wish both of them a very blessed day and I've added that lady to my prayer list for uh, blessings and healing to her heart moving on <laughs> <coughs> something dead back there open my visor to get that smell out oh that's one thing about riding as opposed to driving you might smell the occasional skunk that you drive close to or run over but man you really smell it when you're on the bike I guess what I'm going to do is uh, 
anytime I go somewhere. I will truck it back to home, home base. And then go back out from there. Ruckus. I'm not a bike snob, man. I, I wave at every bike. I don't care if it's a scooter, moped. I'm just happy to see two pe uh, people out on two wheels. gas station. What I know what I need to do is quit smoking. But I'm just about out of cigarettes. Man, I am so happy that I got to make this trip. I mean, so happy that I got to come down and see her. See him. And he really is like a second son, he really is. I feel so very blessed. One, to have made it down here safely, especially in all the storms that I had to go through. But two, just to be able to make the trip. I am so very grateful. Sunoco up here too. Let's just go to that one. It's on the right side of the road. I talked to myself. I talked to the bike too, just in case it's a transformer. <laughs> I'm not in any hurry, my friend. Mama said, that, mama said, my mama said, mama said that, my mama, mama said that, my mama, my mama said that, my mama said that, my mama said that. Make good corn dough. Sat here and talked with this guy for about 15, 20 minutes. I enjoyed the visit. I always like to talk to locals. Nobody owes anybody anything, bud. If you served, you didn't serve so somebody would owe you something. You served because you love the country and the people in it. And I have left my keys somewhere. Oh, this pocket. How you doing? You doing all right today? <laughs> we'll see you later.
Santa's nice ladies working in there. Found out I was here to visit my kid from all the way out in Bristol. Would not let me pay for my corn dog. <laughs> You know, you watch the news, read the newspaper, and if you let it, it'll, it'll convince you that the world's full, just full of dangerous people that you can't trust anybody. And as soon as you turn your back, somebody's gonna kill you and rob you and worse. There's just some really nice people in this world. Let's see, I gotta go this way. That was the extent of my exploring for the day. Oop, just passed it. <laughs> yeah, the house needs a little bit of work. It's a rental. Shame this doesn't have the option to buy. With a little bit of work, it would make them a really nice home. Well, I might try to make a little video of uh, everybody sitting around and talking, enjoying herself with a nice visit. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off for here. It is Wednesday. As much as I don't want to leave and be next year before I see him again, tomorrow I'll have to head back towards home. I'm just going straight across 40, though. I'm, it's 790 miles, according to GPS, from driveway to driveway. So I may take it in a, a day and a half trip. Uh, Precampsites.net showed me some camping about the midway point. Well, anyway, peace out.